Good evening, everyone, and happy Friday. So we have new releases today. We also have earrings. If you're watching me and you do not see this little red box up in the corner that says live, then we are not live anymore. This is the replay, but you can shop it just like the live. So you can either comment sold on a piece and the number, or you can message me with a screenshot of what you would like or the number of what you would like, and I will make sure it gets in your pouch. So this is Putting on the Glitz with Christy. I've been a paparazzi independent consultant for about 20 months now. So we're coming up on the two-year anniversary. I am Life of the Party Bronze. So I got that in my first year, which is a nice accomplishment. And let's see what else. We get the Fashion Fix. Fashion Fix is going to be in probably next week. So hopefully in time for the Wednesday show. If not, we will show it on the Friday show. On Sunday this week, hi mom, on Sunday this week, we are going to do a vintage paparazzi sale. So some of them will be one and done. Probably a lot of them will be one and done, but not every one will be one and done. So we may have more than one of some pieces. Hi, Megan. Good to see you. So let me think. Is there anything else I need to tell you before we get started? If you haven't been here before, the way to claim something is to comment sold and the number of the piece that we have. I try to tell you each time how many of each piece we have. So once they are all sold, I will say they're sold out and I cannot get any more of those unless they happen to be the blockbuster pieces like what I have on. This one is called Fishing for Compliments in Silver. I don't know how well you can see it here, but it is a silver chain like a net or a mesh with white rhinestones hanging in it. Comes with these cute little earrings that is a little strand of the chain with a white rhinestone at the top as well. So this one is going to be number one for tonight. The one I have on Fishing for Compliments is number one. And I know my light's a little bright in here tonight. Mom, does the light look a little bit bright and washed out on your end or are we good? Hi, Carol. Good to see you. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Marjorie. Hi, Polly. See you all out there. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Okay, the light looks a little washed out on your end. Hmm. I'm going to have to get Max to work on my lighting because I think it's just the lighting in this room. And it's nighttime. So Wednesday we had the show in this room, but it was daytime. So we got a little bit of natural light in from the windows. And tonight we don't have that. It's all artificial light. Hi, Terry. But it's good to know that it is actually a little bit washed out on your end, too. I'll try to hold things up to the screen closer so that you can see them a little bit better. Our blockbuster of the day, besides what I have on, is Global Glamour in silver. This is a really pretty one. I like the hematite stones and these are the large hematite stones. They have the point out. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's standing up. And they are a dark gray color. So those are hematite rhinestones. They have a hammered frame around the outside. Our largest one is in the center down at the bottom. And then we get a little bit smaller as we go up. And then the earrings for this are really great too. You don't even need to upgrade these because they gave us awesome earrings with the blockbusters. So these are those hematite rhinestones again, same frame, that hammered frame on a silver fish hook back. Let's put it on Jade here. Bring her in a little bit closer so you can see it a little bit better. Hopefully we can just leave her up here tonight. We're gonna do earrings after we run out of new releases today because I had a smaller order of new releases. So we'll get ready for earrings. With the two inch extension, that is gonna sit right above her bust. So this one is Global Glamour in silver. This is what it looks like close up. And it is going to be number two tonight. And because it is a blockbuster, I don't have a limit on how many that are available. Because I can get I can reorder that anytime. So that's our blockbuster of the day. Oh, yes, Carol. You know, we pick out our jewelry first sometimes and then the outfit to go with the jewelry. If you've got something really special you want to wear, 
sometimes we go shopping for an outfit just to match the jewelry, but don't tell anyone. I won't tell. You know, important things. Who cares what we're eating? We know we'll eat. But what are we wearing? All right. This one is called Heavenly Teardrops. This is blue crackle stone in a teardrop shape. And we have round pieces of blue crackle stone in between each one of these teardrops. Our earrings for this one are the round pieces of blue crackle stone in a silver frame. And it's on a fish hook back. I have five of these because our blue crackle stone is super popular. So this one, her collar would be about here. It's about an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, you're gonna hit about middle of the chest. So about halfway down, this is, let me turn it all right. I probably got the chain twisted in the tag. Heavenly Teardrops in blue. Five of this one available. Number three. Okay, and then we have Yacht Ready in copper. Ooh, boy, that got a glare on it. There we go. So it is an off-white mother of pearl finish teardrop in the center, has shiny copper all around the outside. That's its frame and the chain. And our earrings are shiny copper tassels. I almost couldn't say that. Shiny copper tassels on that copper fish hook back. I think the white bust is throwing it off too. So this one is sitting right above the bust. So it's kind of right here at the beginning of the bust. With your two inch extension, it will sit down onto the bust. Thank you, Polly. Can you put down a share for Polly, please? This one is yacht ready in copper. Number four. We have two of those. And last in this set, this one is Posh Party Avenue. Posh Party Avenue. So this is the same design. We had the multicolored necklace in, but they did it in blue this time. We have the rectangle, the circle, and the triangles in that very pretty blue. It's somewhere around a sapphire blue between a royal and a navy. So it just kind of depends on which light you have it in. Sometimes it looks darker to me and sometimes it looks lighter. Hi, Aunt Dora. Let me turn down my screen a little bit and see if it'll glare a little bit less. So this one has the white rhinestone earrings with it. It's Caitlin tonight. They are on a silver fish hook back. This is the length. So her collar would be about here. It's about half an inch below that collar. And then with the two inch extension, it is gonna be about center chest, maybe just slightly above center chest. So I have three of these. Posh Party Avenue in blue. And it is going to be number five. Okay. Go ahead and start with our first question for the night. So we are going to look for a specific answer. There are six answers available. We are looking for number three tonight. Three will be the winning answer. And we'll get you an extra entry into the drawing for a free piece of jewelry at the end of the show. Name a food that is hard to keep your face clean while eating. Hi, Barbara. Good to see you. Name a food that's hard to keep your face clean while eating. One of them we had for dinner tonight. Ribs. Ribs was number two, Shannon. Wings. They didn't put wings on there. Can you believe they missed that? Spaghetti was the winning answer. That one went to mom. Spaghetti is what we had for dinner tonight. Watermelon was number six. Barbecued chicken. They didn't put barbecued chicken on there. Can you believe that? 
Several of these they should have gotten. Corn on the cob, that should have been on there because you always get buttery, right? Am I the only one that ends up with a greasy face from eating buttered corn? We have two more. Two more available. One of them is something my kids always used to get their face messy when they were eating when they were super little, but they love to eat it. Of course, kids can make a mess of anything. Oh, cotton candy is a good guess too, Carol. Oh, actually we have three left. Ice cream was number one, Barbara. That's a good guess. Yeah, ice cream's number one. Always ice cream, right? I still make a mess with ice cream, let's be honest. Not chocolate, but that's a good one. PB&J, oh, that's good too. These other two also have tomato sauce in common. They're a tomato-based food. Or include a tomato-based food. What do you think? Tomato always makes the biggest mess, right? I mean, how many clothes have we stained or had our kids stain when they were little? Pizza was number five. That's the one my kids always wanted to eat and made a super big mess. I have pictures of them with pizza like all over their face, all over their shirts, all over their high chair trays. It was just everywhere. It looked like they rolled in pizza sauce. The other one was the aptly named Sloppy Joe. Sloppy Joe's. So hard to stay clean while you're eating a sloppy joe because usually the meat falls all over the place. It's not like in one big patty like a hamburger. All right. A few new release earrings before we get into the other earrings. These are called Turn of the Century in white. So these are cute little infinity symbols. They have rectangular shaped, two rectangular shaped rhinestones right on the inside here where they cross over each other and then little white rhinestones around the edges. These are a post earring. Post is right in the center of these where those rhinestones are, the rectangular ones. This is the size. So they're not super small. They're a nice size, especially for someone who might have to wear posts to work. I know there are several of my friends who have to wear post earrings only to work. And so these are good for that. I have three pairs of these available and they are number six. Number six. Number seven. Look at these. They look like shiny copper, don't they? And sometimes, I'll tell you, these are rose gold. Sometimes there's not very much difference between our shiny copper and our rose gold because rose gold is just a blend of copper and gold. So sometimes they end up looking very much alike. These are called Dubai Detour. Look at that gorgeous filigree. Love, love, love the filigree on these and the rose gold color. I have two pairs of these available. This is the length and the size for reference. So D Dubai Detour in rose gold is number seven. What did you guys do today? We had awesome weather. So we've had the windows open. I know somebody called me crazy earlier because we've had the windows open at night too because it didn't get that cold. It was like 57 last night and the wind was blowing. Caitlin, you look bored. Am I boring you? You're tired. Oh, those infinity ones would look cute with the heart jacket ones, the long ones on the chain you're talking about. Yeah, they would look really cute with that. Next, though, we have butterflies. And you know, I love butterflies. So I had to get these butterfly hoops. You work today? Did you have your window open too, Carol? It's only 54 now, so it's starting to cool down, but it was really super nice today. So these are two layer butterflies. The outside one is like an outline. And then the inside is a little solid butterfly. We also have little white rhinestones on this hoop. And then underneath, there's a little solid butterfly. So these are cute little butterfly hoops. They're kind of a medium size, so they're not huge. Let me push my earring out of the way so you can kind of see where they end. 
So they're not a huge earring, but they're not teeny tiny either. These are called Full Out Flutter in white. And I have four pairs of these. These are number eight. Is my internet bad for anybody? Because I just got the low bandwidth thing. So if you're having problems, let me know. Shannon would like number eight. You had the door open for your dogs, Polly. High 40s, but no wind. Okay. We we're probably high 60s, but we did have some breeze today. Last night, the wind was just howling. It was blowing in a new weather system. Just crazy. This is a beautiful but dainty piece. This is called Vintage Validation. Vintage Validation in blue. So this, again, is that sapphire blue. It's kind of between royal and navy. Looks a little bit more navy on my screen right now. Okay, the picture just went fuzzy for a little while. If it does that too many times, I'll hook up my um, Ethernet cable. But otherwise, I hate to interrupt it. it. has little scalloped edges around the outside of this teardrop with white rhinestones in it. It's a daintier size. The earrings are the blue teardrops in a silver frame and on a fish hook back. I have three of these. Get my hand sanitizer. Where did it go? Where did it go? Here it is. So this one, thank you. Yeah, it got low for just a minute. I don't know if it'll do it again, but oops, it slid. He's giving me the ethernet cable. So let me hook this up just so we don't have any further problems. Here we go. All right, so this one is almost at center chest. It's really close, but with the two inch extension, it is actually gonna come down past center chest. So to be right there at the top of the bust, just above the bust line. So this one is vintage validation in blue. A little bit more of a navy than a royal. If you're looking for color reference, so this one's number nine, number nine. And number 10, number 10, Everlasting Enchantment in yellow. And you can see this is kind of a muted yellow, maybe a little bit more toward a mustard yellow than a bright lemon yellow. And it has little rhinestones dotting that teardrop shaped frame. These are a moonstone in that yellow in the center. And then our earrings are the little white rhinestones to match what's in the frames. This is the length. So with the collar right about here, you can see it's about an inch below that collar. This is Everlasting Enchantment in yellow. I have three of these available, and it is number 10. There you go, Caitlin. All right, another question. Let's go ahead and get another one. Oh, here's kind of an easy one. It's four answers available. Let's take number three. Name something that can be spoiled. Something that can be spoiled. Okay, I'll fix her. She keeps trying to get away, Polly. She either tries to crowd me out of the picture over here or she tries to get away. There we go. Milk was number one. Children. Children was number three. So that was the winning answer. Polly got that one first. It looks like a lot of you had the same idea. <laughs> Not dogs. They didn't put dogs. A good time. That is certainly true. They didn't put that one on there. Rooted them, isn't it? So we got the winning answer. What else do you think could be spoiled? There's two more answers available. Two more. You see, my um, my Instagram can't decide whether to be yourself. We like spoiling ourselves, right, Mindy? 
eggs. That's a good one. Meat, plants. They did have food, just in general. So that's number two. Oh, your appetite. That's a good one, too. They did not guess those. They did not guess those. So our last one was a surprise. A surprise can be spoiled. All right. Not your trip, but that definitely can be spoiled. This one is called Galaxy Game Changer. And you know how much I love the hematite. So this has some of the transparent hematite as well as some of the mirrored hematite. So they kind of alternate. We've got two pieces of transparent, then some mirrored, two pieces of that. So they alternate with each other, giving you a couple different variations so that it sparkles no matter which way you turn. This is a bar necklace. So these are not gonna move around on you. They are gonna sit in that configuration all the time. Our earrings are the marquee shaped transparent hematite. So they're a dark gray color on a fish hook back. This is the length of this necklace. So it is up here in the upper chest, kind of right about here where my necklace ends. And with the two inch extension, it's gonna sit closer to the center of the chest. For right now, I have two of these in stock, but I have a couple more coming. So if we sell out of this one tonight, I do have more coming in. This is Galaxy Game Changer in silver. And it is number 11. Number 12, we have number 11 to Marjorie. Untwist these so that they sit right. There we go. This is called Sahara Suburb. So we just had this in white. Now we have it in a pink. So this is pink crackle stone. It has the little marbling in it, the little lines, which is why they call it crackle stone. That's a round piece in the center with some filigree around the outside and then round crackle beads in this chain with a silver chain along the inside as well. Our earrings are the round pink crackle stones on a silver fish hook back. This is the length of this necklace. So it is sitting pretty much center chest with the two inch extension. It is gonna sit down here at the top of the bust. So we have two of these, Sahara Suburb in pink. And it is going to be number 12. There you go. Almost can't reach you. <laughs> She's trying to get away from me too. Caitlin's getting away. Jade is getting away. All right, this is a longer necklace. And I tell you that because I've got it pulled back so that you know it's a long necklace. Hi, Ruth. This one is in brass. It is called Southern Opera. So we have white crackle stone in ovals with a hammered antiqued brass frame around both. And our chain is also the antiqued brass. The earrings are white crackle stone ovals, also on an antiqued brass fish hook back. Nothing's cooperating tonight. You know how that goes, right? It's just been that kind of day. This one's hanging about in the mid abdomen area, especially this piece with the two inch extension. Now she's a little short waisted. So I have to say, it's probably not gonna hang this low on me, but it is at her waist or just below her waist with the two inch extension, probably not gonna be quite that long on me. Yes, the brass and the white crackle are good together and the copper and the white crackle because the dark and the light go together so nicely. So this is Southern Opera in brass. We have two of these and it is number 13. Number 14, we've had this necklace in a couple different configurations. 
This one is our new black one. This is called the natural order in black. So we have little black stone beads and they feel like stone because when you touch them, they are cool to the touch with silver base. So silver chain. We have little ovals with a dot motif around the inside. We have a little wheel that kind of looks like a sunflower to me. I don't know if it looks like that to you. It looks like a sunflower to me. And then we have our beautiful tassel in silver at the bottom. Our earrings are the black stone beads, the round ones, on a silver fish hook back. This is the length. So it comes to a V right here at the bust, but this tassel goes all the way down to the lower abdomen area. And with our two inch extension, that's gonna come down even further. That's gonna bring that V right down here underneath the bust, just barely underneath it. So this one is called the natural order. In black, we have two of these and it is number 14. There you go, Caitlin. All right, now we are moving on to earrings. That is all of our new releases for today. So now we get to get out the earrings because earrings are the fun part. You're gonna have so many different pairs of earrings. You don't have to have a necklace. You don't have to have a bracelet. You don't have to have a ring, but you can wear earrings just all by themselves, which the other pieces of jewelry we don't tend to do that with. So you get to have more earrings. Caitlin's laughing at me over here. I have more earrings. Does everybody else have more earrings than they have anything else? Usually I have two or three different pairs for each necklace that I have. It just kind of depends on what I feel like wearing. A lot of times I'll have a, like a solid metal um, pair of hoops to wear with it, or I might have something that match the stone that go in it. So I usually keep several different pairs for each necklace. Caitlin's just shaking her head at me. That's okay. She doesn't have to understand. She's a kid. All right. These are called Celestial Charmer in pink. This pink has a little bit of a bluish tone or a purpley tone to it when you get it close up, depending on the light. That is an oval pink stone in the center. And then we're surrounded by a teardrop frame that has white rhinestones all over it. I have two of these available. This is the length and the size. If you don't have any necklaces to wear it with, make sure you let me know because I've got a couple that have that same pink stone in it with a little bit of blue or purple in it. So these are gonna be number 15, two of those available. All right, now let's ask a question. Okay, I can do this. Six answers available on this one. Let's take answer number four. Name something that gets thrown. Something that gets thrown. And we're not talking about the kind the king sits on. Something you throw. Although it does use a different form of that word too. A ball was number one. Because, you know, we throw a ball for everything. Shoes? What are you doing at your house, Carol? <laughs> Mom's throwing knives. That's not good. I am not coming to your house. Darts. Darts was answer number four. Shannon got that one first. A football. Yes, that was in with the balls. Number one. A pot. Carol, what are you doing in your house? I mean, really, we need to have a talk after this. You're throwing shoes and pots in your house. Hi, Jane. Good to see you. Pots is in ceramic. Oh, okay. That's fair. You throw them around the potter's wheel. Yes. No. A tantrum was number five. That's what I usually throw. It also goes with Carol's shoes and pots. <laughs> a stick to the dog. Not a stick, but they did have something else you might throw for your dog. What else might you throw for your dog? Especially in a park. I see a lot of people doing this. a bone. It's round, but it's not a ball. 
Caitlin, what you laughing about? A Frisbee. Oh, you're going to throw your weight around, Barbara? See, in my case, that would be good because I got a lot of it to throw. Let's see. We've got ball. We've got Frisbee. We've got darts. We've got a tantrum. We've got two other ones that are on here. And these are not things you literally throw like with your hand. So what other things might be thrown? Throw in the towel. I almost did that this afternoon, Shannon. That's a longer story. I told Acacia if I started to cry, just fill up my wine glass and we're good. Because we all reach that point some days, right? Whereas you just can't take anymore. <laughs> Nothing was acting right. Couldn't get anything to do what I wanted it to. Not a loop. They said a game or a contest and a party. Nobody's throwing a party in here. This is what we're having right now. We're having a party. Caitlin says we're not. I think we are. I'm having fun. Everybody else should be having fun too. I enjoy my job. Some days I'm tired, but I enjoy my job. Caitlin's just weird. It's fine. A fit. Ooh, throwing up, throwing horseshoes, throwing bean bags. Those are all really good answers. We got the six that they have on there, though. All right. These are called Glitzy Go Getter in blue. And this has a little bit, and I mean a little bit, of green in it. So it's a little bit teal green. So we have the oval shaped rhinestones at the top and then down at the bottom, we have a rectangle and some marquee shaped rhinestones in that same blue. We've also got some white rhinestones mixed in there. Really, really pretty earrings. Thank you, Polly. She said, I'm the hostess with the mostest. <laughs> <laughs> this is the length and the size of these earrings. And I apologize for the light tonight. It is just not good. So these are called Glitzy Go-Getter in blue. And I have two pairs of these. So these are number 16. Number 16. Caitlin's just over here laughing at me. That's how much she helps me. She sits here and laughs at me. Isn't that rude? I'm going to fire her. She says do it. Apparently she doesn't like this job. But where else does she get paid $15 for an hour or less of work? You know, Terry says, we're going to call you Debbie Downer. Ah. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> All right. These are Canyon Rock Art in green. So these are little green pebbles. They're a light green. And there's a few in here that are a little bit darker. They're pretty transparent. We call them semi-transparent. Should be hired again the next show. That's usually what happens when I fire Max. They're double teardrops on a very thin silver wire. And they're on a silver fish hook back. This is the length and the size. So these are Canyon Rock Art in green. And we have two of these. Number 17. You know why, Polly? Because... Even though I could do this job by myself, it is so much easier to have somebody else writing down what you guys want to buy and who wins the questions so that I don't have to do that during the show. So much easier. So I keep having to rehire them anyway, which really stinks. <laughs> Caitlin's just laughing over here. It's her evil laugh. These are some that I have myself because they're so cute. These are called Crimped Couture in yellow. So we have this crinkly pattern on imperfect squares. The bottom is a yellow color or kind of a gold. And the top is actually metallic gold at the top. So we have two more of these. This is the length and the size. So crimped couture in yellow. Number 18. Two of those. I'm just picking them off my spinny thing over here, just in case you're wondering. I don't have a plan. If you want to see any in a particular color, let me know, or a particular style. Earrings. We're going to do all earrings, so whatever you want to see, let me know, 
and I'll do my best to grab some off of here because I'm just pulling them off anyway. Hi, Marlo. Happy Friday. Although I'm not sure it means much to me anymore because, you know, I don't really get to stop on Fridays. This is called Drop Down Drizzle in green. So this is three silver teardrops. Each one of them have a little green stone in the bottom. It's kind of like a light olive green. I don't know what they call this color. And I don't have my color chart out here yet, or I would refer to it. I have two pairs of these. This is the length and the size. So this is drop down drizzle in green. And it is number 19. Speaking of Marlo, you should see what she did with one of these gold necklaces. I'll have to get her to post it to my page. Because she took one of these gold necklaces and used it as part of her costume. I think she was being Cleopatra. You love yours, Jane? Good. So I think she was being Cleopatra and she used a gold one. And she put it up here like as a headdress. Looked so good. So just a little something creative you could do with your $5 jewelry doesn't always have to be worn as specifically a necklace, even if that's what we made it for. I know some people have taken, um, some people have taken the necklaces and used them as belts, like our scarf for attention. Um, some of them use the, um, the long leather ones as a headband. There are some you can tie. And so they've used it as a headband. Thank you, Marlo. I appreciate that. It looked really good. So there's all kinds of creative things that you can do too with this jewelry. You don't have to just wear it for what it's specifically made for. All right, next up, don't be modest in orange. So this is wooden pieces. So a little quarter shaped pie piece and then a little partial circle with a, an orange bar running through the center. And then we have our little quarter pie piece open up here. That's the piece that I ate. The quarter of a pie. Oh, <laughs> Kayla was looking confused. So I had to specify. Yeah, that's the piece of the pie that I ate up there. <laughs> so I have two pairs of these. This is the length and the size of these earrings. And they're called Don't Be Modest in Orange. These are number 20. My daughter doesn't get me. She might say her mother doesn't get her, but she doesn't get me either. So fair enough, right? Plus I'm just a tiny bit crazy. <sighs> Weird. All right. We have five answers on this one. And this could be a fun question. We'll see what kind of answers we get. Five answers. Let's take number five out of five. Name something a cowboy probably leaves at home for a job interview. Something a cowboy probably leaves at home for his job interview. Of course, it might depend on what kind of job he's interviewing for, too. I mean, if he's interviewing for a job of cowboy, that would be different, right? Carol, you got it right off the bat. Rope. He's going to leave his rope at home. I guess you better not tie up the interviewer. He may not get the job. Horse was number three. I could see a lot of problems with that. His hat was number one. His gun was number two. In what world does the gun come behind the hat in what we're leaving at home for a job interview? This is a crazy world we live in. You'll take your gun before you take your hat. Let's see. We already got the rope. I see spurs. What, go, what do they go on? His bull, <laughs> saddlebags, his dog. Oh, his spurs go on on his boots. He's going to leave his boots at home, Carol. That was number four. All right. We got all of them. We got a couple other good answers, too. He's going to leave his dog. Let's see. You hide your answer again. By the way, while we're here talking, before we go into any more earrings, and if you have earring requests, please still put those in because I will grab those for you. Um, I am migrating all my inventory 
from my Square site to a Shopify site this week. And that's because it's going to be easier for you to use. And I think it's going to offer you more in terms of payment options when it comes to paying your invoices. So the easy part of this is it takes all my names, my descriptions, my prices, that kind of thing. But it doesn't take my pictures over. So if you look, the, all the names are there, all the prices are there, all the descriptions are there, but the pictures are not in there yet. So I'm having to manually go in and add those pictures. There's 4,000 items in there. So it's going to take me a little while um, to get that up. I'm through the A's and B's now. Um, I got that done this afternoon. I'm going to work on it tomorrow too while we're in our Empower Me Pink seminar for paparazzi. So hopefully I can get some more done then. But I'm just going to take it down for the week um, to make it easier so that you're not buying things on the Square site that I'm not seeing because I'm overworking on the Shopify site. And um, yeah, just wow. It's, it's a lot of work. That's This afternoon, that's why I said if I cried, it'd just bring me wine. Um, because I was trying to get the Square site to work better for you. And it was just not wanting to do what it's supposed to do. So I ended up switching to Shopify, which I had looked into a couple months ago, and we ended up not finishing it because it was so much work. But I think at this point, the benefits outweigh the work that it's going to take. So we're going to go ahead and finish that. And all my new things as I get them in are going to be added on the Shopify site. So you'll still go to the same address that you have been going to, putting on the glitz.biz, but it will take you to a Shopify site rather than to my Square site now. And you shouldn't have to do two steps. It should take you directly in. So hopefully that will be easier for everybody. I'm also going to try putting my live shows on there so that you can find my live shows more easily. There's going to be some upgrades that we do. So I'm hoping that you guys really like that once we finally get it up. Caitlin's looking at me crazy again. She wants me to stop talking now and show more jewelry. Do your kids ever tell you to be quiet? Mine do it to me all the time because I talk too much. All right. These are called Twice As Nice in orange. You can see they're not a true orange. It's a yellow orange color. We've got our squares. These are metal. So they're a painted metal on the bottom. And then our silver metal up on top. Little squares with square shaped cutouts. They are on a silver fish hook back. This is the length and the size. And I do have an, a necklace that matches this nicely if you want something to go with it. These are twice as nice in orange. And it is number 21. These were cute too. They came out for Valentine's Day, but who does not love hearts all year long? If you love them, you love them. If you don't, you don't. So I know a few people who didn't buy any hearts because they don't like hearts. Well, let me tell you a secret. I'm not here to sell to myself. If I want something, I order it. But I know that several of you really like the hearts. So we have Tender Hearted Twinkle in pink. These have a light pink rhinestone along the curves, the upper curves of this heart. And you can see it's set. Mm, how do you say that? Not straight. It's off to the side a little bit. Maybe offside. Yeah. I don't know what term to use for that. I, my mind went blank. But I have three pairs of these. This is the length and the size. So tender hearted twinkle in pink is number 22. Asymmetrical. Yeah, that's the only word I could think of too, but I think there's actually another word for when they just tip it. Maybe Terry knows if Terry's still here. Um, Because I just can't think of what it is. But I'm getting old, so my mind tends to do that anyway. It kind of goes blank and you can't think of the word. Off center is better. Thank you, mom. All right, these are a post earring. This is called Young Money. And you know I like my hematite. So this one, <laughs> wonky. Yeah, let's just call it wonky, Carol. <laughs> that I can remember. Um, these are oval mirrored hematite stones in the center of these. This is a rectangular frame around the outside of it. It has a triangular pattern. 
And we also have little hematite stones set in those. Um, when, when something's set just off to the side a little bit, Terry, not completely sideways, but not straight up and down either, just like kind of diagonal. What do you call it? This, I know there's a term for it. Anyway, these are post earring. Our post is up here in this area. So this part is going to hang down off of your ear. So they're going to fit something like this. These are Young Money and Silver. And they're number 23. I know you do all the fabric and the quilts and all that. So I know you know a lot of those terms that I don't know. I'm learning. I really am. This job has been um, kind of a learning curve because I've had to learn how to describe all different kinds of jewelry, all different kinds of shapes, cuts in the stones. So I'm almost two years in and I'm still learning. I watch some other shows sometimes or sneak peeks that our founder does to hear how they describe the jewelry. And sometimes I get some good ideas from them. This is my last pair of these. These are called Botanical Bonanza. Lopsided is good too, Ruth. That at least conveys the right idea. So these are 3D earring. We've got two layers of petals for the flower outside. And then we have our little rose shape on the inside. These are also a metal wire that is coated. This is the length and size. So we have Botanical Bonanza in orange. And it is number 24. Are you dying over there, Caitlin? What'd you do? That's the last pair of those. So if anybody wants those, that is a one and done. Um, 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 um. Okay, so for those of you who weren't here on Wednesday night, we had these cute ones. They look like little pom-poms or like the little loofahs. I had earrings in the past that were dangling sequins. I have some. Um, I have some in silver. I'm not sure if I have any gold, but I have some in silver. These are a multi, and that's because they are white with a slightly iridescent finish on them. So they slightly reflect all the other colors, blues, the greens, the pink, the purple. So little two, two little pom-poms of seed beads on a silver fish hook back. This is the length and the size. I thought these were cute too. They're called Celestial Collision in multi. And I have three pairs of these. They're number 25. I don't think so, Shannon, but I'll look really quick. All my black ones are right down here to my, to my right. I had to look and see which side, which side it was. Do you ever have to do this to figure out which side it is? I still do that. 46 years old and I still do it. All right. Six answers available on this one. Let's take number two. Other than leaves, name something you associate with trees. Other than leaves, something you associate with trees. Okay. Already see the right answer. So Barbara got it this time. It was birds. Birds were number two. Birds, birds, and more birds. Around here, they could be woodpeckers. They could be some other birds. We've got all kinds of different birds around here. North Carolina is good for having birds. It stays warm too much of the year, so we get a lot of them in. So birds, we've got Branches, 
We've got bark. We've got roots. Let's see. Did anybody get trunk? The trunk of the tree? And, yep, Shannon got it way back there. Okay, and one more thing. Not the acorns, but something else that a tree will produce. What do you think? Something else that trees produce. Seeing it have black ones down here. Not maple syrup, but that's good. I have lots of maple syrup. Sap, syrup, pine cones, fruit. Fruit was the other answer. That was number six. All right, Shannon, I didn't see the ones that you're looking for. I'll continue to look for them after the show and see if I have any. This is the closest thing I have to little sequins. These are called Partners in Chime. And it has that pebbled pattern at the bottom. Pecans. Yes, I've got a pecan tree. And it leans more with every storm, Marjorie. So we keep watching this tree when we get heavy rains or we get wind. And it leans just a little bit more. Now it is truly lopsided. It hasn't fallen yet, though. So these are rings on the top. One larger ring with smaller rings that hold that little disc with the pebbled pattern on the bottom. This is the length and the size. So this is called Partners in Chime in Black. And they are number 26. Hi, Taylor. You want to come in and say hi? Yeah. Okay, you can do that. You're peeking? Yeah, She's not... peeking at the jewelry. She loves the jewelry. She comes in here and looks at it. When... Hi. Yeah. Don't look at the spaghetti. <laughs> we had spaghetti, so she's spaghetti. Yep. That was nice. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep looking, Shannon, because I know I did have, but they may be sold out by now. But these are some cute ones. These are black, and they have the suede on them braided into this metal hoop. Shannon says, hi, Taylor. Hi. Marjorie said, hi. hi. Grandma Mimi says, hi. hi. Polly says, hi. hi. See, everybody says, hi to you. You're popular. So they're woven over that silver frame. I have two pairs of these. They're called Rural Guru in black. So this is the length and the size of these. A little bit of a larger hoop. They're a little larger than our Glitzy by Association hoop, but not a huge amount. These are number 27. <laughs> She's a silly girl. And these are another black pair that I really love. 27 to Marlo. These are called Pyramid Sheen. I don't know. Yeah, you can see it from there. Those are little rhinestones in that triangular shape up in the top. And then some flat chain tassel on the bottom here that is just gorgeous. Look how shiny that is. And I love that they cut the tassel a little shorter on these because usually they're so long and not everybody likes long earrings. So this appeals to those who don't like theirs quite as long, but like the style. So this is the length and the size. You can see they're not huge. So we have Pyramid Sheen in black. And we have three pairs of these. This is number 28. There we go. Can't wait to do the vintage show. Okay, bye, Carol. Vintage show on Sunday. Vintage paparazzi. I'm pulling out all the vintage stuff. These are Fearless Flock in brown pretty silver feather with brown rhinestones running down the center the brown colors are something we're going to see more of this spring so i was just listening today the founder talk one of the founders and she said we're going to be seeing a lot more brown this season so this will get you started we have two pairs of these obviously these are going to be backwards on me but they would normally curve toward your face. 
So Fearless Flock in brown is number 29. Oh, Caitlin, you can go ahead and do the drawing, honey. Sorry. Let me see. What other one can we have to sum up our show? Here we go. 29 to Marlowe. These are fairy tale flora in pink. So they've got a pale pink bead, dewy bead around the center, the bottom of the oval cutout. And then we have some kind of a vine design on the silver. Come on in. In oval. Hi. Spencer wants to say hi too. They just got their hair twisted today, so they're feeling cute. So we have two pairs of these. <laughs> this is the length and size. This is fairy tale flora. Number eight from wow. the other night. The silver triangle with the EKG design. You got it, Barbara. So we'll put you down for that. This is number 30. And those replays are always up, so you can watch them anytime. And as long as I haven't sold out of the piece, you are still welcome to buy it. So within the last week or so, two weeks, is pretty pretty safe bet to say that I still have some. But if not, of course, we can always get some for you. Terry, you are our winner tonight. So it's been a little while, Terry. So you win our free piece of jewelry for tonight. Don't forget that every night you come in here and say hi, you get an entry into the drawing. So anybody can win at any time. You increase your chances by getting the family feud answers right, but that doesn't always work as you can see. So we just do it on a little prize wheel and it spins and lets us know who won. So Terry won tonight. So if you're looking for the website right now, it is still up because I have not taken it down. So if you go to puttingontheglitz.biz, you'll get my square site. It is still up as of now. I do intend to take it down within the next day or two. Um, and then it won't be up for about another week. So if you want to go ahead and look, you can do that tonight. Um, it'll still go toward your order for this week that we invoice for on Monday. Shannon shared. Thank you, Shannon. Um, I think that's all I need to tell you. So I'm really looking forward to the new website and I hope it has some really nice features for you guys too. So we'll see you back Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're in a different time zone, adjust for that. Um, and we're going to do the vintage show. So I'll have vintage items. Not all are one and done. A few, most of them are, but not all of them. So we'll see you then. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.